she was uh, she's the founder of the school of political performance. Um, as you can see um, on the screen, and uh, yes. she works uh, with the visual culture research center in Kiev in Ukraine as well. That's just a brief introduction. I think my work is still ready. Thank you. Uh, uh, we are like talking about uh, identity, and uh, as you know, that uh, I'm from, as Alice said, that I'm from the country where there's a conflict, ongoing conflict uh, for three last years, and I'm originally, I was born in Crimea, what is uh, occupied by Russia state right now, uh, also for last three years, and um, I've been working all the time with the with the art, it not last last three years when I've been active, but uh, uh, last three years uh, kind of like accumulated inside me the crisis of identity, and uh, I am still uh, somewhere in between, uh, somewhere in the in the, in some kind of like crisis, and uh, trying to understand who I am, where I am, and where I should be, and from where I am. Uh, because um, uh, and uh, as an artist, you you always search for these uh, questions. And as an artist, you always work with your, especially performance artist, you work with your body, with your own body, and uh, uh, through the body, you try to understand uh, your own position and um, uh, occupy kind of like space and maybe give some ideas about this, some answers, and. Um, uh, and uh, like I try to look back about my my own history, what is very common in my country. Uh, I was born during the fall of Soviet Union, so uh, like the first memories of my life is uh, like when Ukraine became independent, and uh, I grew in Crimea, and it's around one year was zone of turbulence. We didn't know who was, with who we will be, and uh, what uh, way we will be. Uh, of the developing or something like this, and, and uh, I'm from a kind of like political family. Uh, my friends, you know, is politically activists, and uh, like this discussion has been always inside my own uh, family and uh, the questions all the time questioning. And uh, then uh, in 2003 was uh, Orange Revolution, as you know, because. Uh, uh, why? Because we had we had we had independence in our country, and uh, it was not really independence, and it's still not really independence because uh, uh, like political situation uh, always uh, uh, forced uh, be dependent of the economy, of the uh, political will of, of our neighbor Russia and. Uh, also in other side in Europe, so we've been always in between, and this uh, misunderstanding in whole country, it's of course affect you, and you as an artist, as female artist, you always reflect on this, on this situation. And then after 10 years, we had Maidan revolution, and uh, I've been very active that time there. And then um, situation in my country led me to seek like, solidarity in Europe, and I came here, and I met with an uh, artist, Swedish artist, uh, and it was uh, also protest action. Our marriage was uh, kind of a platform. We wanted to make this platform to bring discussion because, uh, as you know, in 2013, it was a lot of campaigns against uh, putting law, uh, law against the propaganda, if we can say that it is propaganda. Uh, and, uh, at that time in Europe was dictatorship of Yanukovych and he wanted to repeat the same law as in Russia and it was a lot of discussions inside the, the country about uh, not only about gay people, about women uh, and uh, yeah, it was like uh, really a lot of difficult uh, situations so uh, in, in Europe um, I married and uh, with women and it was action and just just one uh, month after this uh, action, uh, Russia occupied my home, uh, where I'm still registered. 
So I'm not allowed to back to my home and uh, to Crimea because I'm against uh, annexation and uh, I'm against the political or politics of Putin and the Russian state. So all these complex uh, situations and all the times like trying to be in a way as an artist from other side because you must to be if you want to be um, an open person and like live without borders and like. Can, like we say, uh, propose to people something, some freedom. We must to be outside of these national identities or uh, personal identities. We should be kind like from other side. But it's really hard. And uh, during two years, I done really a lot of actions, and uh, and it was the process of the understanding and the searching uh, where I should be and with who and how and uh, uh, and uh, last uh, in, in 2014 in September uh, me and uh, my friends uh, from uh, VCRC it is a culture platform uh, of a group of curators, artists and activists in Kiev uh, we organize a school of political performance and it is not the school where we uh, learn someone how to be and how to be artist or something like this. It is schools as as uh, as uh, kind of philosophy, philosophical platform, and it is open for everyone. And we have some big ambitions to spread the war internationally uh, because, uh, uh, like being in Sweden, also during last uh, part time during last two three years, I could say that the crisis of identity not only in my country or in, uh, in Crimea or inside me is everywhere uh, because uh, people who are like me coming to these uh, countries where it's everything kind of like stable and understandable one nationality and uh, one group of people then we are coming here and we also come and bring some kind of like mass and questioning and we are here also in between in, my, in our home we are in between somewhere here in the between and uh, and I think that it's a fact because we have war, wars everywhere, and people from these conflict territories with the conflict come to the kind of like stable platforms to to try to understand. And uh, but I can say that um, uh, this turbulence uh, gives some kind of also privilege to to make. Uh, Actions what maybe could not be acceptable from the person who is not artist, uh, or you can come to some dangerous places and you can make from this uh, again question through your own body you need other other uh, resources. And uh, me and my students we came to the military border last summer, uh, Mind Beach. <coughs> And it's like from one side it's mines and bombs, and from other side people are living there because uh, yeah, it's like a non-stop war, ongoing war. And uh, in this, in the between mine, mines and uh, like regular citizens, uh, me and my student we scream to the to the soil, and uh, it's also Azov Sea. So on the other side of Azov Sea is Crimea, occupied Crimea, and uh, it was actually an interesting situation. It was the, the beginning of School of Political Performance. Uh, before it was just only my own uh, performances, maybe with collaboration with other people. But this action was um, the beginning, and uh, and it accumulated a lot of discussion inside the country uh, because uh, it was it, it was the bringing the question if uh, uh, if. Uh, how long we can live in the situation of the war, of this crisis, and the mess of every person in the country, uh, and uh, how long we will like live together with the weapon, and uh, if weapon can stop this crisis, or how we will stop, how we can fix their life, and make it kind of like also a peace platform, for continue uh, like to, to continue to live, and uh, uh, yeah, in the end, uh, uh, 
citizens they go to to the police and to the borders to arrest me. But then it was again even in that uh, platform was discussion if if uh, they should arrest me or even kill me if I question this like question the situation of the war uh, if I'm if I, and if it's okay that people are living in these conditions and pretends that everything is okay because it's also difficult to leave and cross all the time the borders mental borders and think with who you are what position you should choose and um, uh, like uh, BCRC and uh, School of Political Performance uh, students and uh, different uh, culture workers we decided to to make uh, action uh, uh, to live on the raft uh, what called Crimea uh, and it was kind of like symbol of the uh, lost peninsula uh, to create your own peninsula, create your own home. Uh, and uh, I live there, uh, completely dependent of the donations of the people. Uh, so I didn't have with me any water, any food. Uh, it was up to the people who just walk uh, in, the, in, the, in the capital, in the city. And I can say that uh, not so much people helped me. Yes, helped, uh, so, but most of the people who knew this about this project or who was my friends or friends of friends, but still, a lot of uh, Crimeans people came to me who I never met before, of course, and they gave me food and water and just talk. At the same time, this uh, uh, this platform uh, became kind of like platform for different uh, law or, um, uh, organizations, uh, for the asylums, uh, for refugees. Um, around the, this uh, little raft uh, was uh, a lot of different um, uh, people who, who work with the refugees, uh, activists, and uh, uh, human rights uh, activists. Uh, and they really give, uh, they help. They give a lot of uh, uh, kind of advice, advices to people who is refugee, who is IDPs uh, from, uh, inside the country from Crimea or this part of Ukraine. So uh, a lot of people get real help. It was not only just uh, symbolic action, it was uh, kind of like a platform to, uh, to help to real people. And, uh, and this, uh, this uh, action uh, was uh, actually showed me and uh, a lot of people that uh, real solidarity can work and uh, uh, we can uh, change through the Nonviolence uh, actions and the art uh, a lot, and uh, fix what power cannot fix, and uh, uh, organize and like accumulate a lot of people. And um, uh, then, during, after three days of living on the raft and three nights, me and some of uh, my friends uh, from BCRC, from school, or from a school of political performance, and uh, other organization who work with the refugees, they prefer to be um, anonymous because uh, they very often go to the other territories, so that's why it would be dangerous for them to show their face. They came together with me to buy, like, by the river, down through the whole country, and uh, we wanted to kind of like accumulate and, and stop in different places to bring up the discussion and uh, that, you know, wake up people uh, through this orange dot with the, uh, with the title Crimea because also inside the country now it's a lot of discussion that uh, if we should support Crimean people or not because uh, some people think that it is crime on their hands uh, that we have the war in country, so it's like a lot of uh, a lot of uh, different discussions, and then a result of this uh, action became a huge uh, show uh, um, exhibition about all uh, journey and uh, about uh, about also our own reflection, and um, I've been arrested together with my mama and. Uh, uh, in the border, we wanted to cross the border with the European Union, and we've been arrested by the Ukrainian police border. Uh, 
because uh, on the water, and we were, we were like close to the water, uh, and uh, it was kind of like really hard situation during three hours being arrested. Uh, like it was, it was uh, for me at that time very real um, performance, I can say that. I needed to, at that time, accumulate all my ideas as an artist, uh, all my statements and uh, uh, thoughts uh, that why I do uh, this and uh, what what means for me, uh, what means for me this or that um, uh, project and this or that uh, uh, words, why I say this, why against uh, annexation or blah 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 and uh, in, in the in the border I need to choose with who I will go with uh, with the police or you know what if I, I can kind of like sell my sell my soul to get freedom or like yeah, it was really uh, hard and uh, and after this uh, they let us go because uh, they was uh, scared about a uh, scandal uh, but they didn't let us to continue our journey. And uh, then uh, when we were been arrested, uh, he explained us that if we would cross or try even cross uh, uh, water border, uh, Romanian uh, police border would kill us. They have this permission uh, to kill any refugees and any people who try to cross water uh, borders. So it was uh, like uh, through this even operation we could bring this uh, this uh, information to the public, and uh, and then uh, after after ex uh, during exhibition uh, we organized uh, the first intensive course of school of political performance, and it was open lectures uh, and the meetings of the uh, uh, different uh, curators and people who work with the uh, with the with the performances and. Uh, with the arts, and uh, also it was uh, meetings with the uh, uh, people who work with the human rights, and uh, it was all the time collaboration of uh, different people who can come any moment, and uh, I can say that uh, it became kind of like a first open school, if we can say, uh, of performance, because uh, uh, in Ukraine, uh, the problem uh, that uh, performance is not uh, is not popular at all. It, it is not interesting language. No one doesn't accept this language. And uh, in uh, uh, academy, it is forbidden to do performance. I've been many times mostly lost my place when I've done my master diploma of architecture because uh, teachers of architecture they knew that I'm doing some performances or some actions and uh, uh, also uh, we could, it, it became like open platform where we could discuss about about crisis, about identities because uh, like, do you, like when you are in constant war you must choose either this or that, it's black and white, you don't have some platform where you can meet and try to reflect and it's really hard for many people, and especially for young generation who just started the beginning their life. So, uh, in, 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 in our um, lectures was all the time different people, and like someone came, someone left, uh, someone tried to do something, and um, and also it became kind of like feminist platform because we have uh, a lot of feminist uh, groups. But we don't have uh, official any official feminist group still because uh, uh, I mean it's not cool to be feminist in, in uh, post-Soviet uh, countries and uh, it is uh, uh, it is even dangerous. Uh, you can like uh, like this T-shirt flowers democracy is also part of the school of political performance uh, where every woman, man yes but mostly separate. Every woman can join. Uh, we made the uh, plaster uh, molds of vaginas and put in different uh, flower spots in, in public space. And uh, it was just one of the part of the performance. But the most uh, 
like difficult part of the performance is to put on yourself this t-shirt with the uh, printing panel of what what uh, of the of the sculpture, not even what of the real vagina. <laughs> and uh, because it is really it is really dangerous, like you can see uh, this uh, this girl, uh, she was in public space with this uh, with this t-shirt and group of men. Uh, and it is in the border with the uh, where it's with Donetsk, where it is war, it's not really not known. So a group of men, uh, they grab her and they try to, to hit her, uh, like um, because as they say, you're not allowed to put on you this t-shirt. It, uh, um, it affect and uh, uh, like break them break morality or something like this. And uh, it was uh, a lot of, uh, it is still a lot of, uh, but it's, it's a change. And uh, like, uh, you know, that I think that what I see through the, through the perspective, what I have done together with my friends, with my sisters, with, the, with people who are doing all the time, trying to change a lot, uh, so I see that uh, through the non-violence, smart ideas, maybe a little bit uh, also funny ideas or something like this, through the performances where we where do don't need to use any kind of uh, resources and money, uh, slowly or maybe even fast you can change. Because for example, also back to the uh, to, the, to my marriage. When I married with uh, Jacqueline Chabot, a Swedish artist, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, artists, art scene mostly against me in Ukraine, and uh, I don't even say what people commented, uh, like regular people. They hated me. And it was three years ago. Uh, one year ago, we had 5,000 people during uh, gay uh, pride in the center of the city. So I, 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 like not only me who doing something, it's a lot of people, but it's kind of like became a virus when you create a platform and where you can share with this platform, not only talk about your own problems, but when you can meet with people and like, oh, you know, I have this, uh, this feelings and I, it's disturbing. I have this problem with this idea or with this feeling and someone say like, oh, so let's create something from this. So, uh, yeah, I can say that uh, uh, School of Political Performance, I don't know how it will, you know, create, because it is open platform, it's not mine, and uh, I don't say that, oh, I'm the greatest founder or whatever. It is for everyone, and everyone can join this. And I really spread the ideas that we can meet and collaborate and create something new. So um, we have plans that we will spread in many different places, and we already have uh, several plans to make uh, festivals and support feminist uh, uh, artists and grow this movement. Because also in Ukraine, who works with the uh, with the performances, me and two other girls. Several who is established artist and who doing this like job and the all grants and uh, and uh, to get grant or foundation it's really hard. You don't we don't have this in Ukraine so we search in Europe but of course in Europe European artists will get these grants first of all. So we are like fighting in the between for this rest of the cake. Uh, so, there's several plans and like concrete plans to make performances and uh, 